All right, so we're getting ready to start some new training, October. For the folks who don't want to be broke, the link to get access, because the way I'm doing it, I'm doing it totally different. I've had too many nosy, dumbass people um, wanting to see what I'm doing without actually buying it. So essentially, I'm going to put it out there. Trust me, you want to get in on the early deal. Trust me, you want to get in on the early deal. Link be below. So let's get into this video. That door opens up, right? Yeah. All right, you can take it off. <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. I had someone in the comment section ask, show us proof of your success. Show us you're in a little room making videos. Show us the proof of your success. And I started laughing. See, here's something that happened. And I will show you guys this. Last year, I bought a brand new Porsche 911 Turbo S. Brand new off the showroom floor. Could have paid cash for it, but because the car was ready on Saturday, I had to finance it to take it home. And this car is almost paid off because I now have a $145,000 loan on my credit report. So that's for future things. But yeah, I drive a Porsche and I haven't intentionally put it on this channel. Now, let me explain to you, let's kind of go back in time. Um, I was very big on showing receipts. I was very big on showing proof of concept. I showed you guys bank statements. I showed you guys ATM receipts. I showed you guys car titles. When I was buying the cars for the car rental business, I had several people in this audience say, he going to come off of that paying cash for cars. He's going to finance in it. And I actually showed you the titles. And this is the thing. I have, you know, for the folks who've been here a minute, you've seen these proof of concept receipts. You've seen the car titles. You've seen the bank statements. You've seen the ATM receipts. You've seen all of this stuff. And let me go ahead and say this. There's another content creator by the name of Sunny Lena Duzeri. She made $30 million. $30 million selling their product. Sonny doesn't show her house. No, I follow Sonny on Instagram. Sonny has a million dollar house. Sonny has nice cars. Sonny never shows her house, her cars, her money. She never shows that stuff. And I've learned from Sonny because let me go ahead and just give you the reality. Because the, these people who are asking to see receipts, these are fanboys they want to see receipts so they can go yeah yeah he got it he got it but you ain't gonna do nothing you're not gonna buy anything you're not going because this this is one of the things i learned it's like the more receipts that i showed the worse things got and let me go ahead and just tell you this i'm moving very soon um October 1st of November, I am moving. And you will not be able to find me where I live on the internet because I have a special corporation for this place. You will not be able to find me because let me go ahead and say, remember Shaky Daniels in the video about me being a child molester and all this other stuff? 
and all the hate I got? You think I got the hate because I was having sex with children? No. Number one, I put up many receipts on many channels to show that I was having sex with adult women. What got me that hate? It was my success. On my Instagram, they start attacking the Porsche and the Mercedes. Oh, that'll be a good car for a nice little girl to ride in. They consistently attacked my assets. They consistently attacked the things that I've achieved. Because here's the thing. And once again, there, there's this lie that I got arrested. What I've seen, and for you people who want to be successful, Successful, take note that when you become rich and successful, people will hate you. And, you know, me, I'm just going along. I'm just up here putting up receipts showing that, hey, if you start a business, you work hard, that you could do these things. Meow. Went over the heads of so many people. I will say there is a loyal contingency. There's a group of people who saw the receipts, who got the message. Because unlike, you know, rest in peace, Alan Roger Curry, I did not build a complete audience of people who didn't have money. But the receipts literally will bring you the dumbest, the stupidest, the craziest customers. Because essentially, I'm going back to Sonny, and there's another dude by the name of Scott Offer. These are folks, I actually know Scott, who've made millions of dollars, and they don't show no receipts. They show the inner workings of what they do. They talk about this. They get customers. And when you show receipts, you're just begging for trouble. You're begging for trouble because this is something I found out because when I first started with it, I'll show these guys some bank statements. I'll show these guys some pay stubs. I'll show these guys some ATM receipts. All that does is get you trouble because I'm about to say it. The majority of black folks, let me go ahead and say this. This is most of where the hate comes from. The majority of my hate comes from black folks. Um, they don't have no money. They don't have a car. They don't have a paid off car. They don't have a paid off house. They don't have stocks. They, they have nothing. And for you to be black and to be successful and to be achieving. Uh, one of my friends, he sat me down. He said, look, I, I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me. You don't think that by posting all of your receipts, all of your proof of your escapades, that you're rubbing stuff in people's face. You don't you don't think it. But he, let me go ahead and give you the concept of dealing with these people. Many of these people are offended that you're successful and they think that you're talking down to them. Once again, this has been a common thing in the echoes of my comments, talking down to them, showing off, boasting and bragging because they're out here struggling. And I was like, but I'm not doing that. He says, I know that you feel that you're not doing that, but this is how these people take it because they're struggling. They're struggling. And, you know, I didn't get it. I didn't really get it. But as this whole thing hit up with my social ex social experiment and I fought back and I pissed off a lot of people, I began to see that poor, dumb, stupid people are dumb and stupid and they will hate you for being successful. In the TikTok video, the black woman, I get up at 430 and let my dog out and, you know, and I go and the only people happy are the crackheads and the millionaires. Only people happy are the crackheads and millionaires. The hate is real. The hate is deep. And this is why when I move, you will not be able to find out where I live. You will not because it's going to be in a corporate name of a corporation that I created that you that I have not mentioned or showed any evidence of. You will not be able to find out where I live because I have learned my lesson. And this is why I don't show receipts. I don't show you my bank accounts. 
I don't show you my ATMs. I, I don't show you receipts because all that is is trouble dealing with. And I would segment this because um, once again, I have a lot of really good people, solid people in the audience. But I would say 30 percent good and 70 percent ignorant Negroes. Ignorant. Like I put up this video. And I knew it wasn't going to get a lot of views. You need to have a degree to get rich. Oh, you, you need to go to college. Most, I knew that video wasn't going to do well. We ain't trying to watch that. You want to watch some invest fest where people are in the aisles throwing money, throwing money in the air like they had the strip club. See, I'm about to say something. Black folks have the lowest rate of marriage, lowest rate of business ownership, lowest rate of college education. We keep going and going and going. And we wonder why black folks are struggling. Low, lowest everything. Bryce Young, quarterback for the uh, Panthers. What did we see when he was at the University of Alabama playing football? What did we see up in the stands? We saw a picture of his mom and dad celebrating his success. See, the ignorant ass black community doesn't believe in that. I've seen countless YouTube videos like dude would have two and three kids with a woman and still be like, well, I don't know if I should marry her. They got children. They live together. But I, I don't know about that marriage thing. Bryce Young. Seriously, you just go ahead and look at it. You, you will see it over and over again that successful young athletes come from two parent households the majority of the time. Unless an athlete just has remarkable athletic skill, he can get past that. But you'll see it over and over and over again. The tools of success, the things that you need to do, get educated. Don't have children before you're married. I know I just pissed off a whole bunch of people who've done that right now. There's going to be some woman who's going to come up in the comments. She's got three children by three different dudes. And she's talking about, well, I'm a nurse and I put myself through nursing school and I works and I'm successful. And she's going to completely ignore all of the pain and misery from the bad mistakes that she made. She's going to ignore that. And she's going to talk about, I'm winning with my three kids from three different baby daddies. And one of them still tapping because he got that good D. Even though he ain't helping you and your kids, you still let him hit because he got that good D. And you're addicted to that good D. You're addicted to it. So, once again, I am not showing receipts. I am not showing proof of anything. And for all of you ignorant Negroes, well, show us some receipts. This car, this is all you're going to see. This is all you're going to see. I am not putting out no more receipts because I have learned my lesson that for the 70% of you who are stupid, ignorant, out here playing video games, wearing the Mr. T starter chain. Mr. T, you got to have the chain and all this other stuff for, for this group of people to respect you. You cannot be studious. You cannot build anything. No, no, no. They, they ain't looking at that. They're looking for drip. They're looking for the chain. They're looking for all of this rah-rah stuff. They're looking for you to be throwing money up in the aisle at InvestFest, which I think is one of the biggest financial scams on the planet. As someone who has holding companies, real business, as someone who was making money before YouTube, I made money before YouTube, and you have all of these Posers and like, this is what you need to do. I could not believe that one of the guys from Earn Your Leisure did the drip thing, talking about the glasses, talking about the watch, talking about having the logo on the pajamas. None of that has anything to do with making money. None of that has nothing to do with. I was just sitting there like, but once again, P.T. Barnum, a fool is born every minute. And this is why black folks struggle. I, I'll share some with you. We just got a new management company in my building, right? And the new management came in and a lot of black folks got evicted. 
I do not understand. When I'm in the parking garage, I wonder why some people, you're driving the 1998 um, Hyundai Elantra and you're living here. It makes no sense. But then again, when the new management company came in and evicted all these people, I mean, a lot of people, you could tell in the parking deck, you could tell a lot of people got evicted. Uh, my unit, which I am leaving, I've already turned my notice, I'm leaving. They're advertising it for $400 to $500 less than what I'm paying. The market's getting bad. And all these black folks who, for some reason, felt that they could come up into this expensive place and live with no consistent income, they got evicted because they wanted to live in a nice place, but they didn't want to do the work. You know, I'm just sitting there like, well, I just see certain people. I'm like, why are you even living here? Uh, there, there's a, a YouTuber who, who used to live in the penthouse. He moved out that penthouse. Penthouse, $9,000 a month. Well, it was. It's probably less now. He moved out that penthouse. They did the video talking about a penthouse tour, and he's in a two-bedroom. That ain't a penthouse, bro. <laughs> ain't a penthouse. But once again, I see that many black folks want to have the appearance of success without the reality of success. Um. I, I consistently see this over and over and over again. So, you know, you can come here and you can hear me make my statements and talk. I am not going to be showing any receipts. I'm not because that draws the wrong audience. That draws the wrong group of people um, putting up receipts and talking about receipts and talking about that. Just like. It, it that that whole thing with earn your leisure and the whole, you know, you got to have the correct coordination, the the shoes, the Prada. Once again, I should be I should correct myself. Uh, earn your leisure knows who they're dealing with, and this is why they do the things. I should correct myself because you cannot talk about like right here. This is my bank. $2 million worth of credit right here, right? I could show you the credit cards. I could show you the limits. Mm-mm. Y'all you, you, ignorant. You ain't, you ain't going to listen to that. But if I go out and get a Rolls Royce and I get the Mr. T store chain and then I do videos like Mr. Organic dancing in the garage around my fancy cars, Mr. Organic who pretty much has gone bankrupt, that's what y'all listen to because y'all stupid. That's what y'all listen to. You don't want to hear anyone talk about hard work, building the business, working seven days a week. No, 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 no. And that's why y'all going to end up like all those black folks who moved in this building, more than likely on some shaky finances who got evicted because they could not maintain their their um, financial status because they were out here flexing because I will see people uh, there was a guy who was here he had a Bentley and he wrecked it the car stayed wrecked for months then he's gone there was someone with this befuddled Range Rover they're gone I'm like why do you folks feel that you can be around wealth and success when you have no wealth and success I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But once again, we live in fake nation. People faking like, you know, once again, I showed you proof. The receipts that I bought those cars and paid cash. And at that point, people stopped talking. They was like, OK, he showed proof. We can't keep saying that he just, uh, you know, financed these cars because, see, um, here's the thing. I'm not like y'all. I'm not trying to fake my way to success. I've had multiple businesses. I've made money before YouTube. And many of you weak, sad. Well, I'm going to create me an online course so I can get some of this easy money. Please do. 
So I can sit here and laugh at you because creating an online course and selling it ain't as easy as you think. But because you're stupid, because you're dumb, because you've never had a business, you don't know these things. You think, oh, I could just create a course and create a YouTube video. Let's, let's talk about YouTube. There's 100 million YouTube channels out there. 10 million of those YouTube channels have 1,000 subscribers. And when you get to 100,000 subscribers or more, it's 362,000. See, once again, YouTube can be a great way to make a lot of money. YouTube has made me a ton of money. YouTube has made me a great money. But if you dumb, lazy, you think you can throw a little hustle dust on something, and then it's going to make all this money without actually working. Here, here, like once again, uh, I've, I've been to many YouTube uh, workshops and events. Many of the top level successful YouTube creators work 80 hour weeks. They don't work 20 hour weeks. They work 80 hour weeks. They've got teams. They got teams. So they're Mr. Beast. He's probably got a staff of 40 or 50 people. But y'all don't see that. All you see is he made a video, he made that money, and I can do it too. I can make a video. I can make a video and I can make that money. Really? Uh, I, I actually dare you to create an online course. I dare you to create a YouTube channel. And I dare you to try to make some money. I dare you. Please do. So I can sit back and laugh at you as I watch you fail. Because one of the things that you clowns do not understand is you need to have talent. You need to have a work ethic. But you, y'all want to do that. Y'all want to do that. Y'all just think that you can go ahead and slide into it and make all this money. And one of the things you will notice, if you're paying attention, is some of your longtime favorite YouTube creators, their views are going down. I wonder why. Well, you wonder why. I know exactly why their views are going down. I know exactly why their views are going down. But you know, because you're not, you don't study YouTube. You're not really um, that good at studying YouTube. You're not that good at actually studying anything. You're just out here trying to make some money and begging people like me for receipts. Please show us your receipt. Like my next house, you may see a room, but I will not show you a picture of the outside. I'm just not going to show you nothing. I'm not going to show you anything because I've learned my lesson because the more successful I become with you dumb Negroes, the more the hate starts, more the hate brews. And I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson. I may start doing videos in my office. Yeah, I actually have a real office. <laughs> the majority of the folks online telling you how to make money don't have an office, don't have a real business. All they have is social media razzle dazzle to get you to buy whatever they're selling without having a real business, without knowing how to build an audience, knowing how to have a sales process. They don't know none of that stuff. But y'all eat it up because they got the drip. They got the Mr. D starter chain. They got the rent it Bentley. They got the rent it Lexus. Yeah. Yes, rent it leased, not purchased, not purchased. And that's what y'all going to keep going for. And this is one of the reasons that I've done all the work to change up my channel, to move away from that, because I cannot be as successful as Sonny Lena Duzeri with you dumb Negroes. It ain't going to happen because I got to do like. E-Y-L. I got to wear the drip. I got to have the glasses. I got the Rolex. I got the Rolex. Well, it won't focus, but I got that. But that, that, don't, that don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. You got to have the consistent drip. You got to have the chain, the car. This is something funny. This is something funny. You got all these folks begging to see proof of success, but they don't want to do the work. They want to watch. They want to be entertained. That's what they want. They want to be entertained. They want to be show. The biggest YouTube channels are about entertainment, not business. No, 
And once again, I am not showing any more proofs or receipts or any more because all that's going to get me is more hate. So if you're in the comments talking about show us some proof, show us some proof. This video is for you. I ain't showing you no proof. I'm just going to go ahead, make my money, keep living the way I want to live, keep enjoying life. That's what I'm going to keep doing. So there it is. That's all I got to say.